Hi, I'm back with another speed paint. After this batch, there's only one group of characters left in Into the Wild that I haven't drawn yet. I'm excited for that, so let's get started. As you saw at the beginning there, I adjusted Patch Pelt's fur pattern to better match with what I have in mind for his son, Swiftpaw, but now I'm drawing Goldenflower. I imagine she was intelligent and a good strategist, and kept up well with Tiger Claw. I bet they both like dry humor. I wouldn't mind a novella exploring Goldenflower's character more. I wonder if she and Tony Pelt ever talk during gatherings. Lionheart was basically everyone's mentor in Into the Wild, and he's another character I really, really like because of SSS Warrior Cats. I tried really hard to get that big, poofy anime mane. Goldenflower and Lionheart really don't look anything like my design for their dad, except they both inherited small ears, small ears. Yeah, Whitestorm and Lionheart are the most anime designs that I've got so far. Darkstripe is neither young nor pretty, and he's stinky. I like Darkstripe and Graystripe being half-brothers, and you can rip that from my cold, dead hands. This family tree is already so much of a mess, I'm practically throwing everything into the pot and saying it's all canon. Fluffy baby gray stripe. Okay, I have two things to note about gray stripe. One, they better not pull the same thing that they pulled with Spotted Leaf, where they killed her ghost, so that Firestar didn't have to choose between her and Sandstorm. Firstly, Sandstorm and Firestar was a weak pairing to begin with, but what I'm saying is, they better not like kill Silverstream or Millie's ghost, because I'd be genuinely upset with either of those ghost deaths. Second, I'm calling it now, in the Grey Stripe Super Edition, he's gonna go to the Tribe Cats to get Stormfur, and the Tribe Cats are gonna show up, and they're gonna help the clans take down Bramblefake. I'm calling it now. I'm not even re- I'm not even caught up. I am not- I haven't even read any of the new books. <laughs> but listen, I just know it. I feel it in my heart. Stormfur is coming back. Stormfur, Brooke, and their million of Grey Stripe clones. I'm just- I'm calling it. SSS long tail character design god tier 
SSS Warrior Cats is genuinely the thing that got me into anime. SSS Warrior Cats is also when I started drawing. pose I've had in mind for a long time. He was gonna have some bite marks on him, but I decided a little while ago that I was gonna keep blood out of the family tree drawings. I'm fine with drawing blood, my main concern is that it could distract from the actual look of the character. I'll actually be drawing Brightheart next week, so that'll be fun. She's my second favorite character after Ravenpaw. I love her character arc with Cloud Tail, and I really wish that Jay Feather would have stuck it out and she could have trained him to be a warrior. And that's all I've got for this week. I hope you enjoyed this kind of quieter speed paint. Again, next week is the last batch of characters featured in Into the Wild. After that, I'll be moving on to Fire and Ice. That means a lot of One Clan cats are gonna come pouring in. We got One Star, uh, Deadfoot, Morning Flower, G Gorsepaw. Gorsepaw will be in it because he's Gorse Kit in that book. But yeah, hope you like Wind Clan. I'll also finally start sorting these guys into a family tree. And if you want to see that, my Tumblr and my Twitter are in the description below. And that's that's where it will end up, so you want to go there if you want to see it. Alright, you'll hear from me next week. Bye!